this is gonna be tough to bottle up in a two, three minute vlog. But I'm about to show you the benefits of edge feathering and the additional forage that it can bring to your property, especially in and around the edges of food plots. little bit of backstory last summer and late into the summer midway through growing season Adam and I came in here to a newly put in established food plot and began to feather the edge along the entire area of the food plot of course some areas we did a little bit harder um, but truthfully we didn't get as aggressive so this edge feathering is not 100% done we're to come back this year and continue to open up the canopy but we got a good chunk of it done last year so I wanna show you exactly what is coming back. And I wanna remind you, this is May 5th. So it's still very early into the growing season, but already there are some exciting plants and exciting responses from the wildlife that is very visible. Anyone can see this on your property if you're doing similar techniques. So I wanna show it to you, talk about the benefits, and encourage you to do it yourself. Another super simple thing that it's simply utilizing an existing root system that's there, but is allowing these trees to stump sprout, beneficial trees. Now, if they're invasives, of course, we're gonna cut them and treat the stump so they're not growing back. But some of these stumps, hey, you know what? We're gonna utilize them and allow that to produce some additional forage. So here's an example of a stump. Again, this was done last year, so half of growing season and just the very beginning of this growing season. And you can see there's forage already coming back and the deer have responded to it and have forage. There's a lot of brows on this stump sprout. It happens to be a hickory stump sprout. Here's another cool plant that we definitely did not see in this portion. Again, this was all timber. We did not see this plant growing here prior to doing any edge feathering or opening up the food plot and allowing that sunlight to come in. But here's wild bergamot growing in the edge of the timber close to a food plot. Yes, that is a wildflower and a forb. And there are many other wildflowers beginning to pop up in and around here. Not all of them have bloomed yet, but they're coming on and it's super exciting to see, hey, you know what? When I do these types of activities in the right areas and treat them well, allowing that sunlight to come in, I'm going to be producing forage, cover, and diversifying the amount of forages that are in my timber areas. If you can do that, maximize those acres for forage production, you are so much far in advance, most likely, of your neighbors because those acres aren't just timber and you're hoping for an acorn production. Those acres are also producing summertime forages and additional vegetation. If you can do that, maximize your woodlots, maximize your timber, open up some canopy, get some regeneration. You never know what's gonna pop up and it's important to be observational and watch and look and see what happens when you do this type of work because it's encouraging and it's exciting to see this type of response even though we're big deer guys love the turkey hunt this right here is cool and exciting here's another plant that without a doubt feeds a lot of deer and is a great structure um, for fawns and for turkeys this time of year but you can see Here's blackberry beginning to grow here on the edge of the timber. Look how light green this leaf is compared to these other leaves. This leaf right here, because it's fresh and young and tender, is gonna get forged on earlier than this one. Here's some more regeneration. And look at all this young right here on the end of this plant. Lots of forage, lots of benefit, and they're gonna crush it during the summer. Here's another one, take two more steps. Here's some additional. Look at that new sprout. Look how tender this is right here. Very, very easy, soft leaves to forage on. And that's just a few steps away. Again, this was nothing beforehand. This was zero benefit in this area. None of this was planted. Just simply cut and let nature run its course. Using and working with nature will help benefit you and your property 
much more than trying to work against it. So understand what you need to be doing along the edges, allowing sunlight to come in, and you can get responses just like this along the edges of your, your food plot. And with it being along the edge and having this much forage offered right here along the edge, you're gonna offset the forage or browse pressure in your food plots. Deer are creatures of the edge. They do come to the edge and forage because these species are here, because the sunlight is there to produce these. So allow that to happen, offset the, the forage, excuse me, offset the browse pressure in your food plots by offering native forage along the edges. You'll see it happen, you'll see a reduction in over browsing of your food plots if you're properly managing the native landscape. Of course, on top of all the forbs that are coming to grow back that may not have been here prior or that we didn't know were in the seed bank, we've got stump sprouts from the actual trees that we had cut. Here's a great example. Here's a hickory. Um, look at all this growth around here coming out of this stump right there that was cut. See that in there? These are stump sprouts. So again, very tender, very young, and you can see just how much is foraged on. This is basically half of a growing season, the very beginning of another one. It's already a foot and a half off the ground. By the end of summer, it's going to be much more than that. Um, obviously already it has offered forage, but by then, by that time, it's going to be up probably hip high and be offering a cover advantage too. So the combination, or again, we're always preaching diversity, but the combination of woody structure, woody brows, forbs and grasses all these things mixed together will create great habitat here's a prime example of structure and forage all in the same plant so i'm definitely encouraged by this i hope it encourages you guys to get out there and say you know what this year i'm going to make a difference i'm going to make an impact i'm going to fire up that chainsaw even if i can't get a project done entirely I'm going to say phase one is this. This is my goal. I'm going to accomplish it. That's what we've done, and we're already seeing incredible benefits. So you don't have to finish every single project to know that you're making a positive impact on the land, on the native landscape, and with your wildlife um, and hunting opportunities. So get out there, do something, make an improvement, improve the habitat, and you'll see the benefits.